He's saying, the preservation of the Qur'an cannot then be a letter for letter, tashkil for tashkil narrative. It can't be. That the later scholars verbalized and the Muslim Ummah is taught. He says then, rather the preservation must therefore be interpreted in another manner. He said, fact. As per previous paragraphs in the second interpretation, the recitation of the Qur'an clearly has some human elements in it. From the full part to the lahajat, problem. How then can we understand the Qur'an as being kalam Allah, kalam meaning speech, the speech of Allah, when clearly there are some human aspects to it? He believes the Qur'an. Is not letter by letter. He believes that that preservation is not letter by letter. He doesn't believe that preservation is tashkil by tashkil. Brothers and sisters, this, this is kufr. My point being that this issue uh, of ahruf and qiraat has troubled the ummah from the very beginning of times. Nothing new. And there are 15 opinions about this. None of them fully answer all of the questions that are raised. Some of them answer more than others in a manner that it needs to be answered. And this is something all of us that are in academia fully acknowledge. Uh, some of the issues pertaining to the Ahruf and the Qiraat, as you're aware, there was a major controversy two months ago about this issue. And I have said multiple times that um, uh, my opinions have nothing to do with the preservation of the Quran, unlike what uh, some of the non-Muslim critics have just completely raised complete chaos over this issue. Audhu billah, audhu billah. They have to do with a very, very technical issue. And when I said that video, I did not have answers to them. Alhamdulillah, I am now very comfortable uh, with the positions that I hold and alhamdulillah uh, the uh, the answers that I was looking for I found them in a number of earlier uh, uh, ulama that are not uh, they're not the ones that are uh, the more uh, you know mainstream positions but they're there uh, Ibn Jarir al-Tabari has certain views uh, Al-Tahawi has certain views uh, Abu Shama al-Maqdisi has certain views and if you look at their views uh, you get an understanding that alhamdulillah it is precedented there are people before me and uh, these views are, are you put them together you can construct a, a, a position that I'm not alone in. There are other positions that hold it as well. But Alhamdulillah, I now have answers uh, to that. So to be honest.